Roswell Flight Test Crew here at NAB 2015. Be sure to subscribe so you can follow along with us here at the show. And I'm here at the 3D Robotics booth where I'm talking to Philip Rouse. How are you doing, Philip? Hey, good. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good, and I'm excited because when I woke up this morning, I had a press release waiting in my inbox announcing the 3DR Solo, and here it is, right here. Tell me about it. Well, Solo is our new smart drone. It's fairly different to any other drone. It might look the same with four motors, etc. But the main thing that we've got that's very different to anyone else is we've actually got a full 1 gigahertz Linux PC in here and in here, along with our autopilot. So you've got a computer on either side of this equation. What does that do for the end user? I mean, it sounds very cool, but why do I care if there's a computer in both things? What's important is about actually getting a shot. Framing the shot, setting the shot up, and making sure that that's all smooth. Now, you could use a second pilot, that's one option, or you could actually allow a computer to do all the hard work for you. So what we have on here is we have control of our uh, gimbal, but we also have pre-programmed of the gimbal as well. So we can actually tell the gimbal to climb up or down. So at the moment, believe it or not, that is moving. I've got that set to a 72 second sweep so that I can concentrate on flying while the gimbal does its thing. So that's the basics. Then we have cable cam, which is a really new feature for, for us, which is freaking awesome. You start at your, your, lowest, your lowest point, where you want the shot to start. You aim the camera there, you uh, set it into uh, cable cam, and you push your A button, basically sets the, the first shot. You then fly around, you set your last shot, push your B button, and then you push play. And flying back and forth between that shot is just done with your throttle, so you can just concentrate on what you're doing on the shot and just stay on that cable. So it really locks you in like you're in the sky. It allows you to do five axis pan shots like you're a pro. So really you're moving to more of an autonomous flight mode here where the aircraft is really flying itself and you've also got an orbit uh, function which I understand is kind of helping you do the same thing. We do and um, you're, you're right we, we do concentrate on autonomy. I mean we've at the heart of this is the uh, 3D Robotics Pixhawk 2 which is also newly announced today, uh, which is based on the Pixhawk, which anyone who's done the ArduPilot or familiar with the ArduPilot or DIY drones or any of that history of 3D robotics will be familiar with. That is a, an extremely capable autopilot, almost too capable. And um, sometimes getting the balance of, of that is really difficult. So what we've done here is taken that complexity, left it in the autopilot, allowed the autopilot to do what it's best at, and that's keeping the thing rock solid keeping it where you want it to be, flying home, flying to your waypoints, navigation, all of that is still done by the autopilot and then allowing the computer to manage the shot. Now for those of us who are the old school multi-rotor guys, tell us a little bit about this aircraft. Where does the battery live? How long can you fly it for? So the battery is in the top here. So the battery is pretty easy to change. It's just a, uh, a click in place, done. And what kind of battery and how long will it fly on one charge? This is a, uh, it's a 4S, 52 milliamp hour, there we go. Um, yeah, and we get 20 minutes of flight time with the gimbal while powering the GoPro. It also powers the GoPro as well. Everything, 20 minutes. That's not one of those flight times that in factory testing, that's real life out in the field, so yeah. Now, why don't you show us this fancy radio here? The first thing I notice is, of course, you've got your smartphone clipped to it, but then there's a whole other separate color screen on there. There is, and at the moment it's telling me to update my software, but anyway. <laughs> uh, there we go. I uh, don't know if you can see that. So on that we have uh, basically all your critical flight information. So back in the, back in the old day we used to have to, uh, you know, have your tablet and everything nearby you just to know what the what the thing's doing so this one here actually tells you exactly all your critical modes any of your extra information is available on your iphone app or android app and that includes the video footage i won't push the button because he's holding it uh, you just push push the button once to arm it and then tap it again and the thing will take off if you want to land just whack it again and it'll land if you're uh, flying in uh, what we call manual mode now which you guys will be familiar with as probably alt hold is sort of our normal mode now. We just basically, if you want to stop the thing while you're flying around, you just hit pause and that puts you into uh, GPS mode. So yeah, very simple. If you're paying $1,000 plus for a drone, chances are you're actually wanting more than to 
just go for a fly. You actually want to come home with the perfect shot. You want to have the perfect reveal, you want to have the perfect pan, you want to have the perfect cable cam. So the, the task of flying the drone is something that even the experienced drone pilot, it's pretty hard to actually control five axes at the same time. So basically what we're doing is simplifying it for the beginner to the professional filmmaker. So. When's it going to be available and what's it going to cost when it is? Okay, well, uh, it will be in stores in May, I believe, in the US. A little bit later, unfortunately, in Australia, which I'm very disappointed about, but anyway. I bet you know somebody who could hook you up. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> and as far as price, the unit comes at $9.99 and $3.99 for the gimbal. And it works, I assume, with either the Android or iOS? Yep, we have Android apps and iOS apps, so, yep. Right. yep. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate you taking the time. And from NAB 2015, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.